Morning Mountain Chums, here we are again. Today we're starting out of Coniston in the west of the lakes and by popular demand we're climbing Coniston Old Man or the Old Man of Coniston depending very much on preference. Now because I want to keep my options open for the way back down I've started actually from Coniston itself but as you may be able to tell I'm climbing up a fairly steep road which you can drive up and the car park at the top is a very good place to start your walk if you're just doing Coniston old man. The plan today is for a clockwise round starting up the Walmer Scar Road and then turning right at Brown Pike going up to Dow Crag and Coniston old man itself himself themselves I don't know then maybe depending on the conditions north up to Brimfell, Swirl Howe, but at the moment it's looking stunning. Clouds a little bit low to begin with but I am optimistic it will burn off because it's winter. I have with me my ice axe, crampons, some ice spikes, waterproof trousers, spare socks, spare jumper, and a storm shelter. I am hoping I will not need to use many of these things but I would rather take them home unused than get to the top and need them and for them to be waiting in the car. A lovely rainbow but unfortunately of course for there to be a rainbow there has also to be rain so I'm not expecting it to last. only really just started at the car park but it doesn't matter because it's not a competition. I'm now on the rough path section of the Walner Scar Road which heads on over to Seathwaite if one was so inclined and it's apparently a beautiful walk but not what we're doing today. Today we're following up the crest to the pass or pass and then breaking right Just going to pause there a second because it's probably worth noting that there are quite a lot of ways up Coniston Old Man. Um, I've come halfway up the Wall the Scar Road and there's a path off here which is actually also a good way down. One of the great advantages of Coniston Old Man is that there are a lot of ways up and thus a lot of ways down so depending on how the weather goes you've always got quite a few exits. That's not where we're going up today, we may come down it depending on what the weather does but for now we'll carry on along the Walnut Scar Road. Come on. Definitely going to be chilly up there. Just starting to see a few bits of blue above Dow Crag which is a bit of a relief because it was looking pretty miserable until about 10 minutes ago. Oh, 
after quite a steady plod for quite a long time. Just up here, the Walnut Scar Road starts zigzagging up. Although the cloud and the mist is coming and going, you get a real view of the, the mine workings on Coniston, old man, and the sense of what an industrial landscape this was. As Wainwright says in book four, so strongly sculptured are these fine hills, and so pronounced is their appeal, that the scars detract but little from the attractiveness of the picture. Many people indeed will find that the decayed skeletons of the mine workings add an unusual and, if explored, an absorbing interest to their walks. Turn right at the crossroads. Brown Pike and the ridge carries on north to Dow Crag. <laughs> the edges are looking very snowy. Be wary of cornices like this here. This is a really small example but they are risky and dangerous. Looks like there's ground but there isn't ground, there's just snow. So keep a safe distance. Pike, and we're well on our way to Dow Crag after a really long walk in.
first way night of the day. Dow Crag, or Dow Crag as it's pronounced, 778 meters, 2,552 feet in the snow. From here we head down into Goat's Horse and then round up to Coniston Old Man. Down to go tours. If you think about it, maybe click on the old subscribe button. Give us a like. Thank you so much. Come quite a long way back down to get to Goat's Horse. We now have to go a long way back up to get to Coniston Old Man. But such is the way of the hill. It is very cold now. The Goat's Horse, you can turn right and go back down into the valley. And that's another quick way back down to Coniston. Slow and steady. There you go, that's Coniston Old Man, 803 meters, 2,635 feet. Or is it? We'll come to that in a minute. Okay, from here we head on to Brim Fell, and then uh, we'll take a view. <laughs>
This is Brim Fell, our third Wainwright of the day. 796 meters, 2,612 feet. From here, our next hill, and probably our last of today, is Swirl Howe. And to get there, we carry on in the direction we've been going. Coming up to Great Howe Crags, which is not a Wainwright, but is worth noting because Mountain Rescue have identified this as a hot point, a place where people tend to go off thinking that they're going down the prison band and then get stuck and need Mountain Rescue. So don't do that. I'll show you where Swirl Howe is and the prison band in a second. Don't be confused. Well, how? There you go, that's Swirl Howe, our fourth Wainwright of the day. 802 meters, 2,631 feet. One meter shorter than Coniston Old Man, apparently. The comparative heights of Swirl Howe and Coniston Old Man are a bit of a classic Lake District beef. In May 2018, surveyors checked the heights and found the highest visible natural ground to be 802.42 meters for both Swirl Howe and Coniston Old Man. The summit plinth on Coniston Old Man brings its height to 803.52 metres and the surveyors decided that if one considers the area covered by the plinth and the observation that the highest rock is probably covered by it, the evidence strongly suggests there is higher ground beneath it and that, therefore, Coniston Old Man should retain its current status as the highest of the Furness Fells and the historic county top of Lancashire. So as of 2020, Ordnance survey maps show Coniston Old Man with a height of 803 metres and Swirl Howe at 802. Just time for one more Wainwright. Great cars. Not Weatherland today. Between Swirl Howe and Great Cars, there's a memorial to a Halifax bomber that crashed on the 22nd of October 1944, killing all eight airmen on board, seven members of the Royal Canadian Air Force and one Scottish airman. The crew were undertaking a night navigation exercise and it's thought that they became lost in the thick fog, 
but descended hoping to get a visual fix on the ground. Instead, they came down too low over the western shoulder of great cars and hit the hillside. After the crash, an RAF team was sent to clear the site, and they pushed the larger items, such as the engines and fuselage and wings, off the top of the mountain and into broad slack, where a lot of it still remains. There are memorials all over the Lake District, of course, but this one is particularly striking because a lot of the wreckage still remains. There you go then, Great Cars, our fifth and final Wainwright of the day. 588 metres, 2,585 feet. From here we go back to Swirl Howe, then down the prison band, and then slowly make our way back towards Coniston and Pye. That brings us back to Swirl Howe and we head on down the prison band out of the wind hopefully. Okay, I make the ice axe o'clock. Slow and steady, I think it's okay but there's no point in taking risks and also it looks slippy. Yes, that's much more like it. It's nice to put your feet down and know that they're going to stay where you put them. And that's our way home, down to Leavers Water and then if I remember correctly, a fairly pleasant, straightforward path back home. And to Pai, obviously. So that's the prison band. We're nearly at the crossroads where we turn right and head on back down to Lever's Water. You can carry straight on up. I like having ice axe, it's really good to point with. Uh, sorry. We can carry on up or take a right, which is what we're going to do. I'm not taking my spikes off just yet because the path down looks a bit snowy. But I will at some point because otherwise it's just going to become stupid. So the path back from here is pretty straightforward. Not enormously interesting, but direct anyway. 
and I'm hoping it will lead me directly to the pub. That's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. If you've enjoyed this, do please like and subscribe. Join us once again, hopefully, for another Wainwright walk. Stay safe. Starting to shit. Uh, starting to see a few bits of blue of love. Da blah. Well, I think about it as you're watching. Why not give the old click the do bit of ha, skip it wah. There you go. Swell how our fourth way night of the day. Oh my goodness, that's windy. <laughs> that wind went right up my nose.